What is up people? It says I'm live over here. Uh, by the way, I have the chat on the screen. So uh, whatever y'all are typing is gonna come right here on the screen. I hope you can read that. So we're gonna be looking at some videos and let me show you that in a second, for a second over here. We're gonna be looking at some Amog Leela Prabhu and we're gonna be playing the game I created, Spot the Bullshit. Y'all can probably see right there in the description. You will see a link and we're gonna start playing. So it'll create a new card of uh, all the falsies for you. And we're gonna spot falsies in every statement he makes and start playing. So you're gonna play it live with me and uh, we, as we go along, we'll see how. All right, let's play boys and girls. What do you think about education? Big Bang Theory. <laughs> he has a script written where he has most easily debunkable version of the Big Bang written in, the, uh, in a script and he's going to talk about that whenever he talks about Big Bang. Let's hear him. How does the world get the <laughs> okay, that's immediately a fallacy right there. Uh, anyone wants to guess in the chat? By the way, I'll open my card also. Yep, straw man. Lots of people guessed it right. It is a straw man. So everyone go ahead and on your box. If you have straw man, mark straw man. False analogy also, we are comparing uh, the Big Bang to a bomb? Yeah, sure, false analogy. I'll mark that too. By the way, if you want to know falsies, I've written the most common ones, the most common ones that appear in a doc. That's also there in the description. You'll find it there. He's basically talking to an audience to whom they're already of the beliefs or they have a bias by which they're against everything he talks against. So if he talks against atheism or any science or whatever it is, they'll be on board with it, right? So if when they have that bias, the shittiest representation of Big Bang will do to cater to that bias and get an applause from his audience. So that's basically what he's doing. So we study all of these atheistic theories, Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory cannot explain many things. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, he just called it an atheistic theory, which is a misrepresentation of atheism again. So I'd say that's a straw man again of atheism because atheism is simply a position on your belief of the existence of God. Do you believe or do you not believe? That's it. That's what atheism is. There are no theories about the universe. There are no theories and laws about physics in atheism. So that's another straw man right there. Yeah, misrepresentation is basically straw man. Even scientists cannot answer. Intelligence. Can it come by Big Bang? Mind. Can it come by Big Bang? Ego. Can't come by Big Bang. Time. Do you know what this is, by the way? Do you know what this is? Mind, consciousness, ego, intelligence. So what is that? Have you heard that before? Can you explain that? How does that take place? No, not appeal to ignorance, not misinformation. I wouldn't call that misinformation, but uh, I don't have it here on my screen, I think. Yep, I don't have it. But can anyone try and guess what that fallacy is? Where you say, hey, there are these, these, these things that science doesn't know. So, God. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's a God of the gaps argument. Uh, some of you might have it on your bingo cards. If you have it, go ahead and mark it. Uh, and... No, it's God of the Gaps. Yeah, God of the Gaps is basically, hey, there was a time when uh, we didn't know how lightning took place, why rain fell from the sky, why you saw stars in the sky. But today, as we learn each of those things, 
those gaps in our knowledge keep shrinking and now god can only be found in the gaps where we don't understand what it is so people who argue for god usually bring these topics which we don't understand which is consciousness mind ego whatever it is so that's what it is over here god is a gap natures can come by big bang consciousness feelings can they come by big bang हमारी बॉडी विच इज सच अ मास्टर पीस इसमें आर्टीरियल सिस्टम भी है इसमें वीनल सिस्टम भी है इसमें इसमें रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम भी है इसमें नर्वस सिस्टम भी है सारे सिस्टम मस्त काम कर रहे हैं हमको तो पता भी नहीं है क्या क्या सेटिंग किया जिसने की है देर इज अ बेट ऑफ अ फैलसी अगेन ओवर हियर कैन यू गेस वॉट इट इज ही इज काइंड ऑफ सेंग लुक एट अ बॉडी लुक एट हाउ कॉम्प्लेक्स इट इज I can't think of another explanation for this. It has to be created by creator. What is this? What's make energy? That's what it is. But I don't have it in a fallacy over here. But can you try and think of uh, what it might be like? I can't think of another explanation. It has to be God. What is it? It's appeal to personal incredulity. I don't know what else could be the explanation. It has to be God. That's what personal incredulity is. But basically, that is the same kind of analogy as what make analogy. Maybe I'll add that to my card. But again, the number of things keep increasing, and as more and more things come, they can't enter this card. This five by five grid. but yeah yeah what's make analogy is what it is but uh, yeah it's appeal to personal incredulity ye bum phutiya banaya sharir is martial system venal system respiratory system digestive system nervous system ye so must chal raha hai ekdam hum to khana khate hain gastric yeah i i could you could say extraordinary claims to extraordinary claim that uh, it's so well designed that it has to be a creator he's making the claim with no evidence so mark go ahead and mark that new card guys has anyone got bingo already because we already have oh we have only four huh? okay so um there's one more fallacy he's saying right now i think we've already marked that but juice hum nikalte hain kya hum nikalte hain gastric juice pancreatic juice hum nikalte hain He's basically saying that we our bodies are so well designed. There is no flaw anywhere in the body. Can anyone think of a flaw in the body? Just name any flaw. Ankles. I think yeah, the f- ankles I'm not very sure, but I'll tell you a couple that I, uh, I can think of of the top of my head. The first thing is that the laryngeal nerve the nerve that goes to the larynx from the brain it goes around the aorta which is an artery from your heart it goes all the way around the aorta makes a loop and comes back to your larynx so that is a uh, fuck up in the design if anything the other thing is i can think of the appendix yeah the appendix many people have mentioned the appendix vestigial organs yes yes correct uh we can't fly is not a drawback of our revolution we didn't need to fly to be successful in our in environment andram hair is an evolutionary advantage i would say in anyway, i'll i'll tell you one more that i can think of the fact that your reproductive organs are right next to your ex excretory organs isn't that a is that bad design if anything yeah <laughs> i've always wondered why your reproductive organs are right next to your excretory organs but yeah that those are some flaws in design so it's not a perfect design either even if you call it a design that's a straw man calling it a perfect design is misrepresenting the design also so yeah that's a straw man right there oh yeah for for men uh, urination and reproduction there's only one organ that's bad design for anything 
Exactly. It's so fragile that you can get infections from wiping the wrong way. Let's keep going. Do you large intestine or small intestine? We don't know. 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 We do Gastric juice. Now, the food has come forward. Now, I will take out the pancreatic juice. Now, we will dissolve the fats by pulse juice. Let's go, the liver. Let's do this. In large intestine, we will absorb the nutrients. Now, we will small intestine out of the next week. Can we do that? I would also say he's misinformed by saying all these things, right? Wouldn't you say it's misinformation also? Do I have misinformation? I don't have it. Anyone who has it can mark it. Because he's telling wrong, uh, the wrong info about uh, evolution and shit. So, uh, I think that should be bingo. Is there anyone who already has bingo? Constipation is very good. Can you do that? So that's why certainly this body has not come by a big bang. One scientist said when I, when I look at I, it's such a big question mark on big bang. It's a masterpiece. It's my optic fiber, bhi hai, it's my cornea, bhi hai, it's my lens. Bhi hai. Hey, this is retina bhi hai, aur image bhi ban jati hai. Yeah, he interchanged uh, large and small intestine because nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine and excretion is done by the large. You want to hear me talk in Hindi? I want to hear you in Hindi. What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? Let's see, Yamo, Prabhu's understanding of Big Bang is pretty dumbfounded in my opinion, if he thinks that it's an explosion. Yes, yes. I think that's also a straw man of Big Bang. I think we mentioned it, but uh, basically saying that uh, the Big Bang is uh, an explosion is itself wrong. It's a rapid expansion from a single point of the observable universe. Because that's how, as far as we can observe, that's as far as we can gather evidence for. So this is uh, what we understand as expansion, rapid expansion of matter and space-time from a point, not an explosion. The eye is nothing but an extension part of brain. It's a brain, it's brain which is outside, which is visible. But how is this? Balancing organ can be in the ear. How is this? So amazing. Awesome. It's an awesome masterpiece. This body is an awesome masterpiece. He has a bump cut here, my masterpiece. Wow! And look, this is the same khety. But these hair are long. These hair are like this. These hair are never long. And look, someone said, "Hey, cut it. It's gone." In my opinion, there's one more fallacy here, because we've we've just discussed the bad parts of design. If our bodies were designed. The bad parts of that design we've discussed. But he's talking only about the things he considers good parts of those designs. So what fallacy is that? Taking only some parts but not the others, what fallacy is that? Yep, that's cherry picking. That is cherry picking. People have come and told in the chat that is a cherry pick. If you guys have cherry picking, uh, mark that. But there is no chair picking here for that. Oh man, I'm so pissed. <laughs> There's no chair picking. By the way, I'll let you see my whole card. This is what I marked on the card. But uh, if you get bingo, let me know. But I'm like, hey, what's going By ban. This is the last theories that we have to say about religion, spiritual values. But I'm logically thinking, well, I can give a session on Big Bang. I won't give it to you, it'll be long. But many things Big Bang cannot explain. See, that's the thing. There's another thing over here also. I think there is this ridiculing of uh, atheism, of science, of that he's doing. Like, what is it, bro? Nastik theory, nastik logo. What? What? 
chankatiya loge so that's also a kind of uh getting the audience to uh or appealing to dash of the audience by ridiculing this idea so what is that how will the audience feel when they hear all this uh, uh you know all this uh, yes emotions uh, kalpana has said it over here appealing to the emotion of the audience by saying it's all bullshit guys can't you see it's so lame why do people believe this right that is appeal to emotion by appeal to emotion shit man don't i have that either <laughs> shit man it's time for me to make this a uh, 6 by 6 grid so i have more stuff over here but uh, i don't have appeal to emotion if you have it mark it in yours appeal to emotion not appeal to popularity yet appeal to belief is not a fallacy exactly um yeah i'll make it 6 by 6 but uh, yeah man terrible luck does anyone have big of <laughs> uh, shit okay um but there's no appeal to emotion 